Let's go to psychotherapist Lucy Beresford for her take on all of this. Uh, Lucy, can you understand why it is today or explain to us why today throws up such results? Yes, I think in particular the Christmas period can make it very stressful for couples thrown together. It is a mirror, really, of what we had throughout the whole of the pandemic, which was that couples spent more time than they would have ordinarily expected to have spent with their loved one to the uh, extent that then their loved one ceased to be their loved one any longer. And I think what a lot of people do also at the end of the year is that they reflect on the year that's, come, that's gone and their life as it is now and what they would like to see in their life going forward. And therefore, for the very beginning of the year, some people make a resolution and they say, I actually want something better, particularly in my romantic life. And that's why there are so many referrals, but also not referrals just to lawyers, but also to married dating websites such as Ashley Madison, who have seen a 7% increase in the number of people approaching them to sign up as they had last year. Well... So, so actually, um, uh, they say that one of the reasons people are approaching them is to maybe keep their, their marriage together, keep their marriage intact. And there's a radical um, solution to that, according to them, which is? To have an affair. So very counterintuitive. Part of their research has shown that fully 80% of their members have no interest in actually getting a divorce or even separating from their primary partner, but the way in which they can envisage being married, staying married, is by actually having an affair. And I think hey, Lucy, for many would people that, be, that will uh, be counterintuitive. Uh, would, Lucy, would that be an open affair or a secret affair, or does it matter? Oh, well, I think psychologically it matters hugely. If you discovered that your partner was leading a secret life, then that causes untold torment to you uh, and threatens and jeopardizes the relationship that you have. What I think is really interesting, which actually came out in some other research from, from Ashley Madison last year, was that more and more couples are having those conversations about whether monogamy is really something that they think they're cut out for. As you can imagine, many people are now living well into their 90s, maybe to uh, over 100. Can you imagine being with the same person for 60, 70, 80 years? Many of us can, but many of us can't. And therefore, what seems to be happening is that people are having more conversations about what they want going forward. And as you say, that could mean a more open relationship. 